On my last video, one of my subscribers left a comment regarding today's person of interest. Remember, if you have something similar you'd like covered, you can leave a comment or submit it over at the subreddit. Either way, I'll see it. I have no life. Richie from Boston has been on YouTube since 2010 and is one of the larger truther YouTubers around. Today, we can actually see what he thinks of the whole COVID-19 situation. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 22nd. It's May. It's the year 2020. Hi, Richie. It's now May 24, 2020. What do you have for us today? And for the first time, I've been home two weeks, and I'm getting ready to roll out again very soon. You know you should be staying home, right? After all, there is a global pandemic. Like, very, very soon. Because I can't stand it here anymore. I just cannot stand it here anymore. You know, the CDC comes out this morning and basically kind of backpedals. Whoa, hold on. Why can't you stand it there? And what does the CDC have to do with that? But do go on. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, by the way, COVID can't stay here. COVID can't do... Touching your own face, you're not going to get COVID. It doesn't work like that. It's just amazing. Okay, so we're talking about COVID then. I searched the CDC website and couldn't find what you're talking about. Can you provide me with a link to what you mean? But just in case you thought this was going to go away like any other cold or flu would. Oh, I'm pretty sure that with a global lockdown that no one thinks this is simply a cold or flu. Which is good, because it isn't. Not even remotely related. Here's some emails I've already gotten today. This is in Northampton, Massachusetts. Does that look like a temporary sign? Or does that look like they got a whole batch of them made? And look at it. Do what we say. Breathe in your own carbon dioxide. Or get a $300 fine. Because this is America. Do you expect the local councils or even the government to put up paper signs as temporary measure? Paper signs are subject to the elements. And this whole COVID thing isn't just going to go away in a week or so. So of course they had signs made up for it. Also, when wearing a mask, you are not breathing in your own carbon dioxide in any significant level. If this were the case, then surgeons and food workers would have been dropping like flies for decades. Do you see what these people are doing? It kind of, oh, actually real quick, before I even do anything else, let me do a little housekeeping. See this? Yeah, no, I'm just going to skip this next bit. I'm not going to help you show you your prepper shit, as there is no food shortages. This is BitChute. This is my uh, channel on BitChute. And let me show you something. I shared a video from the Corvette Report, and I, I came over here to grab a link, and I happened to notice in the last 30 days, he's got 3.2 million views, and I've got minus 313,660. Kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird, no? I've got minus over a quarter of a million views. Strange, right? Oh, come on, Richie. You've been on YouTube long enough to know that doesn't mean you have negative views. It means you've had less views than normal. There's no conspiracy here. Either that or BitChute's display is all messed up. Weird, weird time we find ourselves in. Well, this might have something to do with it. You see this? One of my subscribers is a caregiver. That is a disturbing thought. And this is from Caregiver Support Newsletter. Are you overwhelmed with COVID-19? Try these recommendations from the Jesse Brown VA Medical Center. Trust information from reputable sources only. This simply means don't listen to conspiracy YouTube... Uh, oh, never mind. Reputable sources only. It's important to stay well informed, but it's equally as important to only trust information from reputable sources. Be mindful of fake news on social media. Choose one, two information, 
information information sources such as CNN, MSN, you know, Microsoft News Network, VA News, and learn information only from them. So, not only are they going to make you jump around like an absolute asshole, not only are they going to force you to do whatever they can possibly come up with. No one is forcing anything. It's to help prevent the spread of two dangerous things. Firstly, a dangerous disease that has spread across the globe. And secondly, and probably the most dangerous thing of all, misinformation. But they're also going to tell you where you should do things, where you should find things out, etc., so forth and so on. Well, no, that's not what that says. See those two letters, the E and the G? That means example. The person or people that wrote this article are probably familiar with those new sources. An informed person would have listed the WHO as a primary source for such information. Avoid information overload. Limit time spent researching this topic. Don't look into COVID-19. Limit that time. Spend your time figuring out new bandanas. You know, different ways to breathe in your own carbon dioxide. Because God had no clue what he was doing when he made your body. While your argument is flawed, your message here is one that I do agree with. People should keep themselves informed, as long as all that information comes from peer-reviewed sources and not from Aunt Karen on Insta Pinter Twitter book or anyone else that has absolutely no idea what they're talking about. I won't repeat myself about the CO2 shit either, and I'm going to leave religion out of everything. Do you see what I'm saying? Breathing in, breathing out, don't worry about any of that. Simply put a mask on, put a hat on, Put anything you can over your face and shut up, okay? If anyone says that anything over your face can protect you, they're full of shit. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the photos of people wearing whatever as a mask. Those people are mostly idiots, but some are creatively clever. Limit your time. Limit your time. Select reliable information sources and then limit how much time you spend researching there. This is good advice. Sources are everything. I mean, if your source is a YouTube... Huh? What? I already did the conspiracy YouTube a bit? God damn it. That was a good joke too. Oh well. Spending too much time looking into things can cause panic in some people. Some people are easily scared and do get anxiety from too much. Then they tend to go and look for the truth, and end up watching videos about how America's propaganda arm reaches out and warns of overthinking. Mm. Yeah, moving on. Learn new info and then keep it moving. A good clue that you are experiencing information overload is that if you notice symptoms of anxiety, such as in increased heart rate, racing thoughts, and muscle tension. Muscle tension. I'm so tense right now that I found out that this pandemic that's been going on since the end of December still hasn't killed more people than the flu. That's because we have learned from the past and put measures in place to prevent the spread. There's just a selection of idiots out there that think that all of this is some part of some grand plan to control everyone. At all. And yet, and yet, you're going to get a forced vaccine. Because Dr. Fauci, remember him? Remember Dr. Anthony Fauci? See the little fella right there? Well, here he is again. And I showed you this. I was probably one of the first channels to show you this. Back when it was relevant. But this is Dr. Anthony Fauci. The same little cricket you see right there. This is him writing an article to his compatriots in the New England Journal of Medicine where he explained that COVID, COVID COVID-19, has a fatality rate of of 0.1%. 0.1%. 
And yet, this is the new normal. It has a fatality rate of 0.1% because that is the new normal. We've detected neutron stars that are less dense than you are. You have nearly half a million subscribers. Don't you think you have a responsibility to provide them with all the facts and not just some conspiracy rhetoric? For years now, you've been doomsaying and nothing has ever come of it. I don't know if you actually believe the shit that is coming out of your mouth or if you're simply saying it to sell all the product. But that does not give you the right to spread misinformation to people who, for some stupid reason, trust you to deliver to them the truth. This is apparently acceptable behavior. Manage the stress response. Relax your body and mind. Uncertainty and concerns about health can activate the stress response in the body, which can cause uncomfortable uncom symptoms such as muscle tension, high blood pressure, difficulty sleeping, Stop the what if train. Monitor your thinking for sentences that start with what if. These sentences tend to involve worst case hypothetical scenarios that are unlikely to happen. Like, what if Richie from Boston not only predicted this before it happened, what if he's still right? You would never write. What if covering my mouth and breathing in the air that my body is expelling is somehow bad for me? We've been over this, and if you actually took the time to look this shit up rather than keep crying, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, then maybe you could just educate your audience rather than whipping them into a panic. I'm just saying. Do you see what I'm saying? What if? What if this entire thing was completely and totally planned to the letter, to the T in advance? What if before they did all of this, they already had a vaccine all ready to go? Then where is it? Why are the rich and powerful getting sick? Wouldn't they be vaccinated against it? A strange vaccine that was also a surveillance component. What if the people involved are the same people that were involved in Event 201, which happened in October of 2019, just one month before this all occurred? Oh, for fuck's sake, do you conspiracy people have to take every slice from every piece of conspiracy bullshit that's out there? How do you people even sleep at night being this paranoid? Most of my audience is American, and I'm glad they don't drink this Kool-Aid. In the words of my people, you cunts are fucked. Fuck it, I'm done. I've left a link to Rich's video in the link below if you want to go and listen to the rest of his bullshit. I'm glad YouTube is doing something to quell the amount of misinformation going out to people. Hell, I thought flat earthers were bad, but when people's lives are on the line, these people in denial about diseases and vaccines are by a wide margin the most dangerous type of conspiracy theorist around. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment. As always, a special thanks to Purple Haze and Ghostface for their ongoing support. If you want to show your support, simply subscribing and sharing this video is more than enough. But if you are the generous type, you can support me over on Patreon. Don't forget that there is a promo on merch until the end of May, so check that out if you are so inclined, code is in the description below. And remember folks, don't be a dick. Good night.